Okay, welcome to section two. This one is more on C++. So in this section, we're going to talk a little bit more about C++ itself. So we'll talk about the advantages of why you'd want to use C++ over another programming language or even blueprints, and about the syntax of Unreal C++ and how it differs from standard C++. And then also talk about why it's important to even have Unreal C++ in the first place. Why can't we just use standard C++? So I'll talk about that. I'm also going to quickly talk about how to read the source code, because it's really easy to do. And there's a lot of times where it's really useful to know how something works. You might want to check out a function, see what it's doing behind the scenes. And if you really can, you can actually go in and change the engine yourself. That's a little bit more complicated, but you can still do that if you want. So this is the first video in this section. It is called The Benefits of Understanding the C++ Syntax. And in this video, we're going to talk about the C++ Syntax and Unreal C++. And then also, I'm going to show you guys in this video how to view different parts of the source code if you want to do that. Okay, so I'm here inside of my project here. I opened up the code editor for my cookbook project. And I'm just going to go down here. Now I'm going to show you, first of all, just how to view source code, because that's really simple and it's really, really useful to be able to do that. So let's uh, right click on actor, for example. Say I want to figure out what the actor class is, what's inside of that class. Well, I can right click on it and then go to definition. That's all you need to do. And now I can see everything. I can see exactly how this class works. It's huge, by the way, because actor has got so much going on inside of it, but Still really cool um, to be able to see all of that. Or say for example, I want to see how the create default subobject function works. Again, I just right click on it, go to definition, and now I can see the inside of that function and actually see what it's doing behind the scenes. And that's really useful at times. I've used this a bunch of times when I'm making games and I want to figure out what exactly a function's doing. And there's nothing stopping you from changing the code inside of these functions and modifying the engine if you really want to do that. So the last thing I just want to touch on in this video, it's a real quick video, is just Unreal C++ and why we need it. Now, one of the biggest challenges with making a game engine is that you need to be able to talk to the editor from your code. You need what is called reflection. The editor needs to be able to see my code. It needs to be able to see these functions and these variables and things like that. Now, different game engines make this happen in different ways. But Unreal Engine's way of making this happen is these tags here, U property, U function, generator body, U class. So whenever you see this stuff, that is basically the only difference between Unreal C++ and normal C++. That's really the only difference, it's just these macros here. So whenever you see something that's purple, that's a macro. And in most cases, macros are going to be Unreal Engine macros. There are some macros that aren't part of the Unreal Engine. Uh, that you might see, but for the most part, it's all going to be Unreal Engine stuff. So anyways, that's just going to be the end of the video here, because I really want to keep this one short and quick, and just move through this section. So I'm going to talk very briefly about the last video, and then we'll move on.